Hey guys, it's Tasia with My BJ's Wholesale, and let me just tell you, I have been trying to record this video. It's the last day of winter break, and things are crazy. I'm behind on this review, but I wanted to keep consistent with giving you guys a little video because um, you said that you liked that. So I'm going to have the pictures of the actual products and stuff on the blog, and I took two shirts with um, some marker on them to show you how it looks after washing. But just to talk to you about it a little bit. I took Tide Pods compared to the BJ's brand, Brickley & Jensen Laundry Detergent. And so this is kind of the new thing. The Tide Pods look like this. Brickley & Jensen, we have like this. So you throw them in, they dissolve. Now we have a top loading one, not front loading, in this house. Um, so I don't know if I wrote that in the review, but just to let you know. Okay, so I tried it, and um, I'm a big Tide fan, I should say before, and um, I feel that the Berkley & Jensen products are cheaper, especially when they have a coupon. It's definitely cheaper. The Tide, though, I feel is very comparable, especially for just the liquid detergent when you have a coupon. Um, Tide has never let me down in getting out stains and how clean clothes feel. In comparison, I really thought that these um, these were good. They worked good. They definitely get the clothes cleaner than when I was using Whisk or um, other brands that I've tried. Arm & Hammer was one that I was so-so on. Always went back to Tide. And the Whisk one I got a few months ago, and I'm not really a big fan of it at all. And the thing is, is that this was um, okay for the girl's skin. It wasn't too harsh on it. The Whisk, they didn't like that one. So um, that I really liked. The thing that I don't like is that it has really no smell after the clothes are clean. And you could choose a fabric softener, but we just get the big jug of vinegar from BJ's. It's like three bucks, so I use just vinegar in there. Those clothes are super soft. Um, so it works good, and in comparison, it works just as good as Tide. I feel like to get the clothes clean, but if you're looking for a smell, I don't, you know, there's not really much after you wash a little smell now, um, and maybe that's not really a factor for you. But definitely price, these are way cheaper than the Tide Pods. But the Tide Pods smell um, much better. And after, you, you can smell them already right now, and after you wash your clothes, they still have that same smell. So that's a personal preference. So I'm just telling you what I like about it. And um, personally, I don't think that I would get the pods again. Just because it's more expensive than getting the liquid. I mean, yeah, so the liquid drips a little bit. Otherwise, I don't think that it's really worth the price to go with the pods. But if you are someone who likes the pods and you don't care if it has a smell or maybe use a fabric softener, I would go with the Berkley & Johnson. It's super comparable. And it did. It cleaned the clothes just as well as the Tide Pods. And um, I would give it a 9 out of 10 just because the point of this is we want our clothes to be clean, not how they smell. So it was super comparable. If you guys try it, let me know what you think. And um, this is the new series, so I'm always reviewing Berkeley and Johnson products. I just so happened to have, there was a killer deal on the Tide Pods when we had that $20 P&G thing a few months ago. So that's when I grabbed them and I knew it would be cool to compare. So that's that. And go to the blog post. It'll have more details about the two and how I used them. And let me know what you guys think. All right? Take care.